So in a perfect world, in a manufacturing process, all the inputs will somehow be reflected in the outputs. So nothing will go missing in between. So if you think of a T account, that's our work in process account, our inputs is opening, uh, the opening work in process balance and the cost that we in incur in the current period and then our outputs would be our finished goods and our closing uh, balance of work in process. And the inputs on, on the left hand side or the debit side will always equal the outputs. So that's in a perfect world. But now in reality, losses take place or losses happen. And there's two categories of losses. So a loss is when all the inputs do not reach the, the, the stage of the finished goods or the closing working process. So somewhere along the line it goes missing. So let's look at the two types of losses or two categories. So the first one is the normal losses. So normal losses uh, is inherent in the manufacturing process. The process is already designed to, to be, in, be as efficient as possible and normal losses still take place. So they are unavoidable. And examples of normal losses are like um, evaporating chemicals or say material cut cutoffs so think of uh, making a dress. So we have the sheet of material and we cut out the dress and all the offcuts has to be thrown away. So it's already designed in such a way that we um, have minimal cutoffs, but it's unavoidable. So if we have normal losses, it doesn't indicate that there's something wrong in the process. What about abnormal losses? So abnormal losses are avoidable. They shouldn't be happening. So if there's an, uh, an abnormal loss, it indicates that there's a problem that needs to be addressed. Um, and we also call them controllable. So examples of abnormal losses, that might be spilling the chemicals. R rather than evaporating, we spill it on the floor by tripping over something. So something needs to be fixed so that it doesn't happen again. Um, abnormal losses might also be like inferior quality. So in the case of the dress, what if we purchase material and there's stairs all through the material and we can't use it and we have to throw it away. Now that's a, an abnormal loss. It shouldn't be happening in the normal uh, manufacturing process. So make sure that you understand the difference between normal losses and abnormal losses. Normal losses forms part of the normal process. There's nothing funny about it. We expect it to happen. Whereas abnormal losses is something that's uh, unavoidable and or that's avoidable and that should not be happening.